All right, what's going on guys? This right here is a very, very important video and I would like you guys to pay attention on what it is that's going on. So, um, if you guys were watching uh, TryHard's live stream last night, I gave him my account so he could go ahead and play games on my account. I'm still going through ABC order, but he played, I don't know, eight, nine, ten games yesterday on the account on the early release so he can go ahead and stream. You know, um, I, I think he's one of the best streamers like I've ever seen I'm not even saying that to try and promote him whatever his, his streams are amazing so um, I asked him if he wanted to stream some Madden he's like I don't have a season ticket but, you know I'll give you my account man because I would I would like to see you stream it so he was like yeah if you don't mind I was like nah no doubt so uh, here he is setting up his dev chart you know getting ready to play a ranked game under Golden Sports even though this is on his live stream and he goes notice on the bottom this is his gamer tag this is why this is very important this is the year we need to change this. This is the year we need to come together to stop this. If Twitter is linked to your YouTube account, please, please, and I can't stress this enough, please like this video. Notice that I'm adding EA Sports in the title, meaning every time you like the video, it will get sent to the Twitter feed. I think this is the time. This is the time that we all come together and stop this nonsense. Lunas two three five DCs Adam, and I'm not even a second. Mike, I don't care about the losses or whatever. All I care about is giving you guys quality content. So I mean, I could care if Adam went zero and twelve. The record doesn't reflect me at all, or doesn't reflect how good I am as a Madden player. Doesn't reflect the, doesn't reflect as how good Adam as a as a Madden player. This right here I'm just showing you is the last drive. As you see, Adam got the Jets. He's up by eight. And the guy ends up DCing him. Like the video to send this to EA so they can watch this. People like this need to get banned. Enough is enough. Now, what makes this difference previous to other years? We finally have a voice. We have plenty of people in the Madden community with large audiences. It's not like how it was two years ago when I first started when you know there was only one person with 20,000 subs now we have plenty of people with more than 20,000 subs this needs to be the year that we all come together and stop this nonsense if you have any footage of anybody this year that is DC glitching please send me the video link show me when he DC's you show your record at the end just show how the, the guy clearly cheated you out of the loss and I'm going to do this every single week. We are going to put videos on each and every DC glitcher. These people need to get banned. It's stupid. It's unfair. They're cheating people out of victories. There's nothing worse than playing a game, trying your best to win somebody, coming together at the end of the game because the guy had the lead on Adam by two scores at one point. So Adam comes back, takes the lead, and the guy sees him and it's unbelievable how people get away with this now you look at the cop community when people boost what the big commentators do a lot of them they do videos they add you know at Treyarch to get this person banned we need to do the same thing we need to let EA Sports know of these cheaters and reset their stats get them console banned do what it takes to get rid of these nerds who want to go on here and no matter what it is they're gonna win no matter what either they play you and they beat you fairly and they win or if they're losing like this guy then they DC you and they win anyways it doesn't even matter so it feels like why even play the game to see if you can win it's like for what when no matter what you're gonna DC them so why rob somebody out of their victory it's so stupid and I really think this needs to be the time where this year is the difference and if we get enough likes on this video, EA will see this video. This person, Lunas23, whatever his name is, needs to be banned, reset his stats, do whatever it is you need to do. Because people like this are cheating the community and it's unfair to people who truly, you know, like to play the game for the right way and win and earn their way up the leaderboards. And again, people, please like the video if your Twitter is hooked up to your YouTube. Also... If you have any DC glitches, you have any footage, send me the clip and I will make the videos 
I really think this needs to be the year where EA needs to do something about this. We're going to put them in front of their faces. Here are the cheaters. Do something about it. The, you know, everybody knows. Look, Adam was down the entire game. The guy was doing some cheesy offensive, no, cheesy defense, whatever he was doing. So Adam wins. He sends them a friendly good game. You know, he is sarcastic, but nonetheless, Adam sends him a message saying, good game. So the guy ends up decent. You'll just see the message he sent. And it's, it's frustrating to the people who sit down, play the game, and get robbed of their victories. And again, I really think this should be the year where we let EA know these are the cheaters. These are the people that make online unplayable. You know how many times I see in the comment section and people are like, I don't go online because this is where he starts it. He starts pausing it, calling timeouts, and we already knew what was coming when we were watching the stream. And it, it's just unbelievable on how people, what people would do for skill points. And it's like, you know, you want these skill points so bad, I think EA should take them away from you just the same way you took skill points away from the person who should have won the game. Again, please send me any footage you have of DC glitchers every single week. Uh, if, if I get enough, I'm going to do videos exposing these damn guys for one, so you guys can stay away from them. And two, so EA Sports can know these are the guys that are affecting and ruining the community. Again, if you look in the comment section, there's tons of, of sim players or just people in general. It's like, you know, I don't even play online. All it is is cheese balls, A gaps, and DC glitches. And it's true. Why should you have to go online and feel threatened that you're going to waste an hour of your time only to be robbed out of your victory? I mean, is, is that fair to the people who want to sit down and enjoy the game? Like, if that happens to me enough, what's the point of even doing it? You play the game to try to see if you can outsmart your opponent, to see if you can, you know, use your knowledge of the game to outperform your, your opponent. And when you happen to do that, just to have it snatched away from you is nonsense. And again, I feel like this is the year, you know, Adam is, is uh, pretty well known in the Madden, I mean, in the Call of Duty community. And at the end of it, he was like, you know what? It's a shame that the Madden community doesn't do it how Call of Duty community does it. Because, again, he's like, when there's when there's boosters, when there's people that lag switch, oh, you better believe there's going to be a commentator. If he's in that lobby, they're going to get exposed. They're going to get console banned, and they're going to get removed from the game because this happened tons of times. How many times have Thunder done a video about boosters, and that guy is console banned where he is no longer able to play that game? I don't even think you can play Xbox Live anymore if you're console banned. I'm not saying go to that measurement, but EA... When people do this, and we're putting the evidence in front of you, and we're showing you that this person, these people are cheating, do something about it. And I think this is a good chance for us to see if EA is going to listen to the community. Because again, every like is going to go straight to their Twitter feed, and if they just completely ignore these people, then, then we should know where it stands. They're just not going to care, and they're just going to leave it alone. But let's see if they're actually going to take these videos and understand that we the people are sick and tired of getting, you know, cheated out of victories. Now, we're not going to ask for, hey, can, you know, you have to add a victory on our record. You have to add these skill points. No, 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 no. Just get rid of the cheater. One by one, if we get rid of these scrubs, one by one, we can make the online community a better place. Because this is ridiculous. It's just stupid that people go online to play again just to see if they can be you. And if they can't, they're gonna DC you anyways. You know, right here, 34 to 20, 34 to 42, three timeouts right there. That first down, he's already in field goal range. Game is over. Game is over. There's nothing he can do. Except he can DC glitch. And Adam sends him a message. Excuse me. Adam sends him a message. Saying, uh, stop trying to DC me because we knew it was coming. Timeout, pause. Timeout, pause. Timeout, pause. He was setting it up. And it, it, it's ridiculous. And again, I really think this is going to let EA know that we're not having it no more. You know, we have a lot of big commentators now. Everybody, uh, you know, not everybody. A lot of people have PVRs or capture cards now. 
record these scrubs when it happens to you send the video to me and we're gonna shove it in EA's faces these guys are cheating get rid of them they don't belong in the online ruin the experience for other people this guy who knows how many times this scrub is gonna do it he could do it 11 times in a row and it's stupid you're taking the fun away from people you know this is getting more and more popular more and more people are you know cheating their way to victories and it's stupid and again this is gonna let EA know listen there's no way you did not see this video if we get a thousand likes on this video it was sent to their Twitter let's say six seven hundred times you've seen the video EA you've seen that these people are cheating EA let's see if you're going to take it in your own hands to fix this broken community where people just want to cheat and think they could get away with it right here I think is what happens he goes to take a knee this is a minute remaining left Adam goes to take a knee and the guy DC's him after that and uh, again this should be the year where all these cheaters get exposed not just getting a website and putting them in a banners list like hey avoid these guys no 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 we're sending these guys directly to EA and if you guys could also go to his PSN and report him for cheating. If you have a PlayStation, log in today, log in tomorrow, report him for cheating. Every cheater I come across will be exposed. If you come across a cheater, send it to me and he will be exposed. That way people will get the right understanding that you play the right way and if you lose you suck it up you get better and you move on to the next game and trying to work on your game skill and trying to get better at the game instead of oh you want to be better at me than matter well guess what i'm taking the skill points you rightfully earn and it's not fair and again this is, should be the year where we do something about it if you have a psn report this scrub for cheating if you have Twitter, link to your um, YouTube, like the video, tweet this video to EA, let them know this scrub is cheating, and there's going to be lots of these guys this year, there's going to be a lot of them this year, and each and every single one of them will get exposed to, to weed out each and every single one of these guys. Now, Adam thought he won. Until he goes to the leaderboards and he noticed he dropped down in the rankings. And he also is not 12 and 5 like he should be. Or the record should be. He's now 11 and 6. And he's like, oh my god, yo, the dude DC'd me with like 40 seconds left. And then he had, and then this is what really, really just makes you want to punch somebody in the face of you to see this dude. He sends them a message. Uh, you'll see it. He's like, oh yeah, good game, bro, with the smiley face. You know how frustrating that is. Look at this. Good game, bro. Real, yo, what a dirtbag move. Again, if you have a PSN, report this guy for cheating. If you have any DC glitchers, send them to me. Each and every single one of them. Send them to me. Show it just like how I'm showing you. Show me that you are winning. Show me that you lost your skill points. Show me, look, recent games. Adam was up 42. Look at the score. We lost 42 to 34. How is that possible, EA? Why? Because scrubs like this want to ruin people's experiences, and it's unfair, and it's getting the online community just in the wrong direction. People like this don't need to be playing online. People like this ruin the experience for other people, and it's stupid. And even if it takes one by one, we need to get rid of these people to make online an enjoyable experience. You shouldn't have to go online, and if the game lags a little bit, you know, your heart skips to be like, oh my god, I'm about to get DC. Look at the next message he sends. This guy's a scrub. If you have Twitter linked to your YouTube, like the video, tweet this video to EA. Again, it's at EA in the title, so it gets sent directly to their Twitter feed. Report this guy for cheating. If you have any DC glitches this year, send them to me. Enough is enough. We are the community and we deserve to, to be able to have a voice.